David Carpenter. I'm the sheriff here in Lincoln County. Walk us through what's going on here today. At sometime around 8 p.m., the city police in Lincoln received a call of a shooting uh, from Salem Church Road in Lincoln. And once they arrived on the scene, they found they had a homicide. They gave out some information of a suspect vehicle and a suspect that may be involved in it. A short time later, a, a lieutenant with the city police encountered the suspect here in the Colonial Village apartment complex. He came out armed with a pistol and exchanged fire with the city police officer. After that, the suspect then barricaded himself in his apartment here in the uh, Colonial Village apartment complex. Our SWAT team was called to assist at the scene. Um, we negotiated with the suspect for a couple hours. He actually came out, he was armed with a gun in his left hand, smoking a cigarette in his right hand. Um, the negotiations ended. The suspect went back in the home, said that we could find him over his dead body. Um, we initiated some tear gas into the home, tried to get him to come out. He did in, exit the entrance door to the apartment, and once he exited the entrance door, he was armed with the gun in his hand and pointed it in the direction of my officers. A shot was fired, and my officers returned fire, and the uh, suspect is deceased at this time. Hostages? No hostages. Yes. Uh, there's actually 12 units in the apartment complex, the building he's located in. We evacuated those units. Uh, prior to us taking any action, and he was alone, alone in the apartment. And businesses were also closed? Not, a, not sure about the immediate area. We were just uh, mainly concerned with the uh, building that he was in and an adjacent building uh, next to it. We evacuated it also. About how many shots? We were out here, and for a while we were thought we were in what sounded like gunfire. What you were hearing was some uh, tear gas that was being uh, uh, shot into the home. Um, we used a couple different types of tear gas, and, and that's the shots you were hearing. Uh, you probably actually heard, actually heard the shots from the fourteen officer when they exchanged fire with the suspect. So I don't know at this time exactly how many shots were exchanged. At one point he said, we'll get him over his dead body. Anything, any other communication, anything verbal? Anything? Uh, he was... Uh, he was in a, quite a bit of communication with uh, one of our negotiators and uh, actually came out onto the porch. But still had the gun in his hand and, and uh, wouldn't put it down. And, and then he went back in so he wouldn't come back in. Do you know the relationship between the suspect and the homicide victim? It should be a husband and wife, I believe. And the road to this apartment, is it? He was actually, his address was uh, 220 Lantern Ridge Drive. 220 Lantern Ridge Drive. Just to clarify, no deputies were hurt, no one was hurt. No one was hurt. And during the uh, standoff, he did, uh, he did actually shoot a couple times at our officers. Uh, what did the suspect hit? Did he hit a vehicle? Did he hit uh, any kind of damage to any of the equipment? Did he? When, when, he, when he took shots at uh, the officers, did he uh, hit the car? Did he hit the Actually, there were some uh, apartments, I believe, yeah, back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where they exchanged fire uh, in the uh, city police office. Nobody else was Pretty there. volatile situation. Uh, and and he, then he fled on foot with the firearm, and the neighbor actually seen him enter his apartment on with the gun. Yeah. That's the information we got from everybody on the scene. Any problems evacuating the apartments? No, what everybody was, uh, our SWAT team members evacuated all the residents and everybody was very cooperative. We've done it as safely and quietly as possible. Were some people allowed to stay in? No, we had everybody in. And they did. Because it was a resident who can't, some people were in. Not in the... Uh, the building where he was. The building next to it, there may be some residents in 